How goes it all? Welcome back to Patterson L Properties. Hopefully you guys are having a great Sunday. Happy Memorial Day weekend to everyone. Thank you veterans for your service. It's greatly appreciated. Please keep up the great work. And um, today's topic is basically, you know, we're going to talk about real estate and certain things that are happening with the market all at the same time. It's a, it's very interesting time um, that we're living in when it boils down to the real estate market. Um, Cause everybody's like, where, you know, where's the end in sight? Is there any end in sight in regards to house prices and things of that nature? And, you know, there are certain reasons that, you know, I'm going to go over um, why cer certain people should wait, but you know, you have to, it's your life at the end of the day when it comes to waiting in regards to getting your own home, when it comes to getting a, an investment property, you know, you got to go through uh, various amounts of back doors or you just have to have the cash money in hand nowadays, you know? Because as of late as of late May 2021, as we're in right now, uh, most things within the United States economy are opening up. It's a good thing, you know. Look at the upside. The inventory of real estate market is starting to finally increase a tad, you know, not tremendously. And I say that it's a good thing because you know, for the last year, the housing market has been basically considered the wild, wild west on all levels. According to the article that I came across, the housing market is so wild right now that half of the houses listed nationwide in April, which was last month, uh, went pending in less than one less than a week. So um, wild that one poll actually found that most home buyers. Um, admitted to bidding on homes that they've never even seen in person. Now, me personally, I'm not bidding on a house that I haven't seen unless I know the homeowners personally, or I have um, boots on the ground that can verify certain things for me in order for me to make a decision whether I want to purchase the property or not. The article um, that I actually read in regards to this matter made um, said that um, there's an example of this. One example of how wild things are actually are is that um, a, um, in Bethesda, Maryland, which isn't far from where I grew up, um, a resident recently included in um, a written offer, a pledge to name her firstborn child after the seller, <laughs> according to the CEO of the realty site, uh, Redfin. So, um, and it's so, and it's even still crazy, but at the end of the day, she didn't get the house because, you know, it's, you can make all the personal uh, promises and, you know, pleads you want, because a lot of people are just making, um, writing personal notes now to sellers because it's that's how crazy it is, you know, pleading for them saying, you know, pleading, saying they want this to be their dream home. This is the first home they're ever getting, you know, a lot of things, you know, a lot of emotions are involved and I get it no matter what the situation with with uh, the pandemic or not or uh, without the pandemic, you know, it's a, it's an emotional process. And when you look at the market in a place like Bethesda, Maryland, Alexandria, Virginia, Arlington, Virginia, um, even parts of Washington, DC, the land mass is very far and few and in between before the pandemic prices and inventory was crazy and hard to come by, especially given the fact that you're talking about historical districts um, with homes built as far back as the um, 1700s, maybe even further. And, you know, this is, you know, the DMV is a, a, a definitely a, a pre-colonial area. Uh, and what, with that being stated, you know, this is true. That picking a house Pick, pick a housing statistic at random and it's probably setting an all time record. Home prices, record record high inventory, record low. We know that in 2021. Percentage of homes selling above asking price, record high right now. We know that. There's a house next door to me that's, um, you know, been, there's some love been put into it, but it can still use more work, but I guarantee it's gonna, it's been on the market for about four days now. And I have a funny feeling uh, by tomorrow or by um, Tuesday that it's going to be a multitude of offers on that house because it was another house that was put on the market and sold in three days. So, um, but anyways, I digress. Uh, the supply and demand problem with the low, low interest rates uh, continues to keep housing in demand along with millennials getting older and wanting to leave the city. How, you know, they want to have to pick fences and families and, you know, all that great stuff. The article also stated that half of the buyers across the United States are coming from out of state in the hottest markets in places like, and like I said, the state of Idaho was blowing, blowing up. Like that's considered a hot market. I never would have thought I would hear the state of Idaho is a hot market, but you got a lot of people leaving California, moving to Idaho and moving to places like Texas and a lot of people moving to Florida, you know, especially a lot of New Yorkers moving to Florida and Georgia and whatnot. And when people leave multi-million dollar houses in say a place like Los Angeles to basically plunk down 1 million on a house that was worth 500,000 a year, they turn a merely uh, friend's housing market into a once 
in history, hair on fire, the article stated, what, you know, what the hell is happening, Bonanza in a sense. And I, and I can understand that's what's happening. Cause like, once again, a lot of people are coming from these more expensive areas and they're bringing cash money. Either, it, either they had the money sitting, sitting in their account or they sold the one house, they got a huge profit. They're taking that amount, that profit down um, south or to the Midwest and where the money goes a lot further. And they're, they're basically creating bigger housing frenzies. It's an interesting time to be alive. And today and tomorrow's economy, living in states that have lower to way less taxes is a plus and where one's money can go further speaks volumes as well. I couldn't agree with that more. With senior citizens aging in place and not selling their homes like normal, lots of construction projects were placed on hold or abandoned because of the increase in lumber. Also, the United States desperately needs an increase in new houses. This is true. Uh, the article stated that the 2021 housing craze feels as sudden and shocking as the pandemic, but it was decades in the making, the article stated. The emergence of millennial generation in the 1980s made strong um, housing demand in the early 20. 2020 is entirely predictable. The Great Recession's clobbering of the construction industry made today's housing shortage equally fee foreseeable. Now I grew up in the DMV area where during the recession and after the recession during the uh, pandemic and after the pandemic, construction hasn't slowed down for housing what one bit, okay, from um, if you're living in Montgomery County, Maryland, to Prince George's County, Maryland, to um, to Alexandria, City of Alexandria, Fairfax, uh, Virginia, Fairfax County, Virginia, Princeton County, Virginia, Stafford County, Virginia, uh, Fredericksburg, the Spotsylvania County. I've seen nothing but um, of demand for housing increase, and even in the surrounding counties that I did not mention. All right, it's basically because the DMV area is the hub of the federal government and military, so people are going to constantly come and go with the corporations that come along with it and the communities that come along with it. The article stated that we might see um, some house prices decline in the second. Um, home areas like small towns in New England and other beach towns on the East Coast. But even there, uh, we just might see a shift where more people decide that they uh, like owning second homes. Also, I think that we will see rising inventory of homes in more rural communities as the job market continues to change and less population of people relocating to these rural communities. You just never know. So the moral of this video is maybe waiting until 2022 and 2023 um, with the increase in real estate market uh, on the possible horizon might be in one's best interest, but it's just something to take into consideration. All right. So do the great three free things, family, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as I always say, make money moves or live broke like a fool. If you are a real estate investor, definitely join our, um, join our list of real estate investors because Patterson Hill Properties at the end of the day, we wholesale real estate, we buy uh, the link with tax properties and we sell the distressed properties as is. If you're a wholesaler, don't forget to connect with us. We'd love to talk to you and possibly even interview you to be on the channel. Um, if you are a distressed property homeowner, contact us. No matter where you are within the United States of America, we're always willing to help people. If we can't help you, then we can refer you to somebody that can. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.